Oh my goodness, guys, it has been way too long. Hello, this is iPod Touch Extra Advice. Today, we are literally going to talk about, like, a lot. Like, I don't know what we're not going to talk about. We're going to talk about me, we're going to talk about my clan, we're going to talk about literally everything. We're going to talk about Clash of Clans itself and new other players and other clans and other awesome, exciting new things. So to start off, we're going to open up Clash of Clans, obviously. Look at that. Look at that new la loading layout. Awesome images. That's awesome. All right. So there we go. 44 trophies. That's a good sign. So here we go. As you can see, top left, I'm level 104. Yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you guys like in comparison to when I was a long time ago to where I am now. To start off, here we go. On May 21st, 2015, this is what like all my stuff looked like. And it was just cannons were gold, archers weren't archers, what they are now. And now on December 22nd, 2015, seven months and one day later, here's what my what my base looks like or what my all my buildings looks like. Here we go. So I'll put down some walls because I guess Supercell decided that we should have more walls as Town Hall 10 or I'm not sure how many Town Hall levels got the new walls, but I got more walls. So here we go. It's going to expect every, inspect everything. So the Wizard Towers haven't changed really. But the mortars have, they're level 7. The majority of my archers are level 11. And there's one on its way, as you guys can see right here. There we go, Town Hall 10 to going to 11. I mean, Archer Tower, LOL. Uh, Cannon is level 11. Did I just say LOL? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, so excited. Uh, so here are my collectors. It looks like collectors look like they're all level 12. But then I, I saw, like, all, not all my gold mines are level 12. So here we go. We got three level... 11 gold mines, so I'm going to fix that. Uh, one level 3 dark elixir and two le level 2s collectors. So you might s like be like, why are all your exos to level 1? Well, it's because I'm trying to upgrade all of my defenses and everything. Barracks, uh, one max dark barracks, uh, one, one level 3 army camps, they're doing fine. I don't know, storage is the same. They have an upgrade now, but I, not, I don't need that right now. Here's just a, like an image of what my laboratory looks like. Doesn't tell you the level ish kind of yeah, but here's what really tells you the levels. I'm doing pretty good. I actually upgraded a lot, but the only things I have that are fully matched is the rage spell and balloons. So it's uh, but we're moving. We're moving along. You know, I'm still leader of my clan, advanced warriors, and I'm now again I'm level 104, which is pretty cool to me at least. Yeah, my clan's doing pretty good. We we kind of like restarted a little bit. We lost a lot of guys. Just um, they I guess they wanted to like get out of the nest or go somewhere else. But they left, and uh, so we're just kind of starting new recruiting people. We to change the clan flag or badge and description, but and we're starting off pretty well. Yeah, we're gonna go and change the base back because I don't want to accidentally leave it like that. That'd be weird. Here we go. So we have. Almost full army camp, so we can go and attack. I'm going to train some more a little bit really fast. There we go. Just add a couple here and there. That way I'm all full. So when we attack, come back, it's going to be ready. Just love how you can do that. All right, so we're going to do our, my best to either get a lot of elixir, preferably, because right now I'm wanting elixir so I can upgrade my troops. Here we go. So much loot available, but just not the right troops for the those type of bases. <clears throat> oh my goodness! It just it's agonizing sometimes how long it takes. All right, so here we go. One hundred forty-four thousand elixir and eighty-nine thousand gold. So and I I I kind of feeling like the majority of it, all the loot is in the, the collectors and gold mines and everything on the outside. So I put down all my barbarians to start, or a majority of them, then put the archers behind them so that while the barbarians took all the damage from the defenses, the archers could finish out the buildings. Might as well get the town hall as well, too. Here we go. 
So it's looking all right. It's looking good here. As you can see, I'm finally get, drawing in the elixir in gold. There we go. So all the troops are down 47% with one star. Oh my goodness. So hopefully maybe we can get two stars. Oh, there we go. Two stars, 50%. So we're good. We're good. And then I believe I still have some troops here, but we're going to go and end it in a second. Three, two, one. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So 13 trophies. Perfect. Along with that, 95,000 elixir. That's just fine. Uh, I don't know what to show you guys next. So I guess I'll just show you guys my attack log. So I've been trying to do, like, figure out my own... Um, Armory camp composition that I should use. So what I've done is I've done like 16 giants, 16 hogs, um, wall breakers, some archers, wizards, and I used to do four earth creek spells, but in this one I did only did two. I don't usually have a healer, but I wanted to try it to see if it would help out, and I guess it kind of did in this attack, but not really. So we'll go ahead and show you really fast. So I put down earthquake spells already. To damage the walls. So what I'm doing is I kind of put down um, giants in the middle and then hogs on the sides. So that way everyone kind of like um, directed towards the middle of the base. So here we go. Pit the rest of my hogs and giants down on the sides and middle with the wall breakers and breaking through the walls. So we're through the first outer wall there we go troops are doing fine i don't know where my hogs went i think my hogs unfortunately are gone due to the giant bombs but my giants are doing just fine with the rage spells and healing spells because they're taking so much damage from the mortars and the expos and everything so i'm gonna pause really fast just kind of like look at everything all right so we're doing good so far we have the brain king on the bottom archer following the giants in a way but i put down that healer as you guys can see I wanted her, wanted her to go and help the giants, but unfortunately she decided, well, I guess not fortunately, but she went and uh, decided to instead help the queen, which is good in a way. As she took some, down some buildings and helps get 50%. Then we have the, my king on the bottom going for the town hall. Good job. So we'll at least get two stars out of this thing. But even with the healer, unfortunately, the archer queen will fall. She's taking too much damage from all the defenses around her. And then, boom, she's gone. So I was like thinking, okay, hey, she's going to go down and help out the Barbarian King because he lost some health. But nope, psych, just kidding. She helps the archers who already have full health. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I, I thought, guys, the purpose of the healer flying was to have the ability to go to any troop and help the ones that did not have full health, but... You know, I, that's just me. Like, what do I know, really? I just, like, have used the healer a lot and just, you know, I feel like it should go towards the Red Brain King right now. Whatever, sorry about me ranting. We'll end the attack at 64%. Get lots of elixir. And some trophies go along with it. So there we go. That's not too bad, not too bad, because we're not... Right, we're making a lot of money. So as you guys can see... Yeah, my attack log, I've been winning a lot of attacks, but when I do lose, it hurts me bad. So, like, negative 22 trophies, negative 19, negative, I, earlier it was, like, 30, but my defenses helps me out a lot. So, lately, before the video I actually started recording, I got a lot of people just, like, came, dropped one troop and left. So, it helped me out tremendously with my trophies. But there are times where I do lose, and I lose to, like, incredible attackers. I, I like, shout out to them because I'll watch what they did. And I'm like, I probably could have done that better myself. So good job to them. But uh, my base layout seems to be working just fine for me. All right, so I left and came back. Um, just again, like the, oh my goodness. Like, look at the picture, guys. It looks awesome. Like, the walls is perfect. Skeletons and the lights and everything all fits together really well. I loved it. Uh, um, it just looks awesome. So here we go. Here we go. We're going to check out my league. Here we go. Silver League 1. What, what? Yeah, we're just... I was, I'm, was. i like, kind of farming, trying to find out which level fits me best. Helping me out. So we had, like, this new guard thing for the new thing. Like, a uh, new update, Christmas update. 
and it, you get it after your shield runs out, or you can buy it for uh, two hour guard for ten gems, and it just it makes it so nobody can attack you. It's like an extra mini shield. No one can attack you for a certain amount of time. All right, so here we go, Clan War, uh, fifteen to twenty. I'm gonna show you guys my first attack against their top guy. Here we go. So I was like more or less looking at what the base was. Um, on this attack, I brought three, three earthquake spells to help out the walls because the walls, I f like without them, it makes attacks so much easier. Trust me, guys. Upgrade their walls; they help out a lot. So here we are. Finally, put down the earthquake spells. It took me a second. I put an archer on the top of the base, and then an archer on the bottom to draw their clan castle troops, as you guys can see right here. Here we go, Valkyrie, Minion, and Dragon. So I'm going to speed things up for you guys in a couple seconds, because I felt like this part took a long time. It really did. There we go, finally, sped it up. Oh my goodness. Alright, times four. I finally take them down, the all their clan castle troops. Then I can finally get back to the main event here the uh, attack so I put down the wall breakers boom through the outer wall and then I put down four wall breakers to get to the second wall they couldn't do it so I put down the rest of my giants and as you guys can see right here I have the hogs over here and over here on the sides like I told you earlier and so what I'll do is I'll put down the rest of my giants and wall breakers in a second after that healing spell so that way we can get through the, uh, all the walls with the raid spell. It works perfectly. And you might be thinking, oh, hey, your giants are going to the side. It's not gonna, it's not going to work out. Well, they actually just go and take out this Tesla really fast. And then they'll come join the the main gang, MG. I don't know. But they come back. And then they go to the center base, which is perfect. With the raid spell and the archer queen right behind them. I was like, yes, we're going to get at least one star on this. Because she's going to take out the town hall really fast. I thought my giants would keep going, but they had like the skeleton traps and the mortars and so many defenses taken them out that they're just gone. But the archer queen manages to take out the town hall. And I was really hoping for 50% here, but as you can see, my heroes aren't crazy high level. They do the job, but they don't. I wish they did the job more, like with the extra mile. But they end here, and we just have the little archer on the top and the storage almost full. Notification, so we'll speed things up. We end the attack at 44%. With one star in the war, not too bad, but not crazy great. But it helps out more than no stars. So I'll show you guys my better attack on the second attack. So I use the, basically the same same um, attacking strategy with my troops. So there we go. I'm trying to draw out, again, their clan castle troops. For some reason, this always is like this is like the vein of my existence. It literally takes forever, like you, like just I I don't even know. So here they come, speed things up. There we go, poison spell. They're dying. They're dying. I put down wizards and archers. That dragon is finished. There we go. So then I put down giants, and they want for some reason like even though in the corner base they should go for the wall. No, they want to go for the archer tower all the way, like down there, away from where I want them to go the wall so then I put down the hogs they take care of the arch tower and then they rethink their lives and they want to go back to where I want them to go which is to the center of the base so as you guys can see here the hogs and the giants down here but I pit hogs down there in a second here we go healing spell then put the hogs on the bottom of the screen and then on the top of the screen and in the middle so all over the place and then I put down the rage spell to help these guys out, get through all, away from all this mess and into the center of the base, finally. I put down the rest of my rest of my troops, which works out perfectly from the end. Um, heroes just looked at them really fast. As you guys can see, my archer tower on the top of the screen is just stuck by that wall. For some reason, she just wants to attack that wall really badly. And so, while that happens, she gets hit by the archer tower. And she will fall. She, she's gonna, I'm just going to say die. She dies. There we go. Death. Death came to the archer queen. But I still have my king... And the raid spell, and it's in the center of the base, and the wizards and the archers, so it's work looking perfect. So 51%, then the town hall, so I at least have two stars right there. And so from here, I'm like, you know, we I can actually finish off the base. I don't have too many troops, but I can do this. So here we are, 
you know, chilling, going through each and every building. There we go. The bomb hurt a little bit because in the, they went to get the gold mine and then the arch tower. Just like, you know what? Stop. So then use the king's hero ability and he goes and he takes out the archer tower. That's good, you know. So then he takes out the collector. And I'm thinking, okay, take out the gold mine. But instead of going to the defense, shooting at him, he goes for the storage. Which to me made no sense, but it's alright. 88%, two-star attack. It was, I to me, it was almost flawless. Almost, like, there are a few, couple things, like the queen placement and some spells placement that could have been better. But almost perfect attack. Not too bad. Let's check this thing out. 15 to 20... I'll have to remind some guys to attack. Not bad, not bad. No heroic defense for us. Interesting. Yeah, and so as you guys can see here, I have not been attacked yet. So we'll see if anyone attacks me. See if their number one gets me or not. So guys, it turns out that later their number one attacked me. So I'm going to go to show you guys... What, what went down. So here we are. Opening up Clash of Clans. So 15 to 20. But I just said that the guy attacked me right. Well let, let's just let me just show you. Go over to my side. He got a 49% on me. Not even one star. He couldn't even get 50% 50, 50 on me. So we go to check out what happened. He's trying to drop my clan castle troops. But I, I have it just perf just placed so that. It's hard to get to them, but he he does it with his hog. And then he literally just wastes like 25 seconds. I don't know what he's doing, but he's just like thinking about something. Who knows? So then he finally put down, pits down some troops. Healing spell. So early though. I, I don't know why it was so early. The golems are there to take damage. So let them take the damage. I don't know. It's weird. Pit down his earthquake spells. Those always come in handy. Um, the... Air Sweeper helps delay the dragon from dealing too much damage to my base. But they've gotten through the, my first two walls, so all left is my inner wall, basically. But there's like 50, se 50 seconds left in the attack. So I don't know where the rest of his troops are, but guess what? They're, he's got two P.E.K.K.A.s and like 12 Hogs. So there goes Hogs. Rage spell on the left, but wa watch the hogs on the left. So they're they're doing just fine. I bet he's thinking awesome. So then, but the the, the giant bomb just takes him out, and so does the king, which helps out a lot. So now his hogs are gone. He can't take out my defenses as easy as now. So he's put down his pekkas and heroes, and he's got to be thinking, dude, I gotta get at least fifty percent. But nope. So both his pekkas go at like the same time, and then all that's left is his queen, and she just goes down. And it just, I felt so bad for him because it ended up just being a bad attack on his part in a, in a way. And so, but it was good in some ways too as well. But only 49%, come on dog, come on. You you, you had two packers. You could have gotten at least one star. Um. Also, here we go. I got Xmas tree and the Halloween cauldron. It's pretty cool. Obstacles, love it. Loving it. So I'm going to attack again for you guys and show you guys all my mad skills. Because, you know, I'm just like crazy, crazy good at this attacking stuff. <laughs> wink, wink. So here we go. Going through this. Oh. Trying to find the right base. So I was thinking, oh my goodness. If I could just get my Archer Queen to one of the storages, that's an easy 100,000 elixir. So I put down my... My... My brains and archers. I'm thinking, you know, I just got to break through a wall. So I pit down some barbarians right about now. I just pit down a whole bunch of them just to break through the wall. I finally break through the wall. And then their clan, castle, <laughs> the clan castle troops come out. And it's a, a balloon and a dragon. And what are the chances that I'm out of archers to stop them? So I just have to put down my barbarians to certain death by like dragon fire and everything. And I put down my archer queen. I'm like, okay, so she's, she's going to take down this cannon. And then she's going to move to the air defense. And then she's going to take down that storage. So then she takes out an air defense. 
and she's like, psych, just get it, go into the collector out here, and the dragon comes and, like, takes her down, but watch, I was like, nope, let's, like, the two storage is right there, like, why not just go to those, she's like, no, I don't want to do that, I want to come up here and attack this little collector, because it's holding so much, well, it's not, okay, and so, <laughs> so, I don't know what happened there, but I use her hero ability, but she still dies, she doesn't even shoot at the dragon, she's just dead, so, gone, Terrible, terrible attack. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, I guess, I don't know. And then here I am training troops. I don't know why I had this in here. So, I'm speeding things up for you guys because it was just garbage. So, then after that, I'm going to show you guys. So, you know, let's let's go look at the top player. Let's, let's show you guys a couple things from the new update. Sarah, Team Cream. 5,461 trophies. That's awesome. Good job to Sarah. Start off, he's the, here is the Eagle Artillery. It says the Eagle Artillery has nearly unlimited range and targets tough enough with exploding shells. However, it won't activate until a large amount of troops have been deployed. So, interesting. Interesting. But uh, it does literally cover the entire map. Then here's awesome, like, Town Hall 11. So, this is the heart of your village. Upgrading your Town Hall unlocks new defenses, buildings, traps, and much, much more. Destroying an opponent's town hall wins you the battle, and you get one star. Destroying 50% of any buildings gains you a second star, while 100% annihilation gives you three stars. And I come back to finish it. Beware your enemies will be trying to destroy your town hall too. For maximum protection, keep your town hall in the middle of your village and protect it with walls, traps, and defensive buildings. Your enemies are sneaky and can attack from any side. Dun -dun -dun. So just kind of let you know, like the town hall can now also hold resources, so it's, it holds a little bit of something. It gives you an extra incentive to uh, um, put it in the center of your base. Here we are with the gold storage and the elixir storages, level 12. They can now each hold $2 million. Here we go. Wizard Tower, level 9, looks pretty fancy. Lab Laboratory, level 9, looks good because the uh, witch, level 3, and a couple other ones too. And I was like looking around, like, what else is there? You know, it's just, I don't. I don't know, like, what else came with the update. So I was, like, looking at the base because I just wish that this was my base. Oh, my goodness. Like, look, everything's maxed out. Oh, also, <laughs> to the the guy to the right of the Archer Queen, right there, he's called the Grand Warden. He's a new hero. He can fly, go on ground. He helps your troops with health and rage and everything. It's awesome. Get him, but he's only Town Hall 11 available, so it's interesting. So... If you guys don't know, there's an, uh, a famous Clash of Clan player called Jorge Yao, or George Yao. And I, the other day, found him in a clan called North 44. One of, like, I, at least to me, like a legendary clan. It's been there for, like, what seems forever to everyone. And I can't find him. I don't know where they are. Look, I'm, I'm like, searching through, like, I found him, like, top five the other day. I can't even find them in the top 148. So I was like, maybe they're not. They're in the United States now. No, they're not there. Can't find them. Like, where's North Forty Four? I was like, I really want to show you guys George Yao because Jorge Yao. Because he has come back. He's actually he's like playing now. He has max everything, and he's playing like he has a YouTube channel, and everything. So here we are, North Forty Four. Search. So no, this this is not it. So I went ahead and just they're. I think they're at least level three. Change the members, because this is a pretty big clan, pretty pretty famous clan, so they should have at least, like, 23 members. And the clan points, helping them out, and then just, I, I literally can't find it, because this these these guys aren't North 44, because they're crazy low level to be North 44. And then here's the other one, like, these guys' trophy level is way too low, this can't be them, so I, I can't find them. So I don't know. I'll have to find that later. But another cool thing to show you guys. Another cool thing. We have now had the first level 10 clan called Brutus. It says first clan in breach level per 10 worldwide. Level 10 clan worldwide. Um, but then Loot War says we're the first level 10 clan without using the mod or hack the game Clash of Clans, and it's been it was rumored that Brutus 
the clan used the hacker mod that we can practice attack on people, but I'm not going to say it was confirmed. Just congratulations to them for getting level, level 10 first. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.